I, that was the biggest impact this film had on me was how my relationship with my boyfriend of five and a half years has evolved and changed for the better. Can you hear me okay? Yes. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, so, let's see, how do I describe it? Uh, so we've been together five and a half years and I have been in the process of making the film for three and a half years. So there are two years there where I, I was a staunch feminist and of many years. And, uh, and in hindsight, now I can see a little bit more clearly how that affected my relationship. But I was very quick to uh, complain about uh, doing housework and also working in the day and then coming home and uh, cooking and, and cleaning and doing whatever else. And uh, the, those were the most common arguments that we had and in hindsight it feels extremely trivial. Uh, but that's at least once a month uh, that I would have a big kind of blow up that, you know, why am I expected to do this? I work hard too. We both spend you know, the same amount of hours at work and then I have to do everything at home. And when I started making the red pill, uh, a lot of my red pill moments were realizing all the, the privileges I had within my own relationship with my boyfriend, as well as how much my family has cared for me over the years, uh, financially just helping me. And, uh, and so with my boyfriend, I started to realize, okay, yeah, I was doing the housework and cooking, but he was paying the vast majority of the bills because he was working a labor job and long hours, uh, 11, 12 hour days, uh, often out in the cold and getting there at 4 a.m. Uh, and so our, you know, our, our pay discrepancy was he was, uh, you know, sacrificing a lot of comfort to make the kind of income he did. And I found comfortable jobs and I, I still worked long days and did the housework and cooking, but, you know, I picked, you know, jobs that I knew I would enjoy more than ones that would pay more that were uh, taxing on the body or the mind or anything. So, uh, so once I started to realize that, then I realized I had a lot of privilege in my relationship and, and saw all of my boyfriend's sacrifice and, and also how much my stepfather had uh, helped me throughout the years and, um, you know, loved me like I was his own child kind of thing. Uh, and so, yeah, basically after making the red pill, our, I was a lot more understanding of my boyfriend's contribution to the family. And uh, that's something that when, there's a moment in the film when Michael Mesner, who's the uh, gender studies professor at USC, uh, I ask him why he thinks uh, child custody is in favor of women more often. And his response was basically that uh, women have, or, or wives have been involved in the child care and the housework more often than men, and so men weren't equally involved in the child rearing. So when it comes to divorce and family court, he says something like men want equality when they weren't equal in the marriage to begin with, or in raising their children to begin with. And I, I really struggled over to include my voiceover after he says that because I have a really strong opinion about his statement, which is how can you say that the father who's paying for the mortgage and the health insurance and you know all, all the things that go into making a household and children you know have a stable upbringing? How can you say that's not equal involvement? You know, it's it's outside the house, but it's still grueling work and taxing work and uh, so. So, you know, making this film, I just really started to understand the male gender role, uh, the amount of sacrifice in that. And, and so then, of course, have more compassion and, and gratitude towards my, my boyfriend and my father and my stepfather.